All right, welcome back. Tis the season for family, friends, and one of our favorite foods right here. It's a spin on a traditional holiday dish. Food Network star Michael Simon joins us. Chef, good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, too, Ryan. Uh, How are you doing? I'm great. We're excited for the holidays. Mine is a poppin', and the aroma is a brewin'. So, yeah, Where you have your start? bolognese started, so that's the meat sauce. So we're going to make a pretty traditional lasagna with flavors, but we're going to roll it up into pinwheels. Oh, that's fun. All right, so okay. we're going to start with the meat first so you don't get overpopped. Okay. Are you ready? So you see, see that cup of onions, Ryan? I do. Put them in. See the, see the uh, carrots? Go. Put them in. Celery. In. in. Garlic. In. Yep. All right, now paste. give this just a little mix. Yep. Before the paste? A little mix. And this is just like a classic bolognese sauce. Oh, yeah. Uh, we just use ground beef. You could use ground pork, ground veal. You could mix it up if you want. Beautiful. Then the tomato paste mm -hmm. goes in the pool. Mm, yum. You give that a stir. Mm -hmm. You want it to get like almost like a little rusty situation. Like okay. see, it's bright red when you put it in. You let it get just a little rusty there. Okay. So stir, and you'll see there. Are you still popping? You okay? It's, it's calmed down a little bit. All right. So okay. Good. good. All right. So when you put tomato paste, one of the mistakes people make is they just Im immediately start adding everything else. You put it in. You let it get that rust color, and it brings out its natural sweetness and sugars, and that's where the real flavor comes from. Now, okay. this little bundle of thyme. Mm. Love the thyme. In. Okay. And the then we're using white wine. You could use white wine, red wine, or stock. You can leave the string right on it, so then you can pull it out. White, white wine. So in goes your liquid. Yep, white wine. That is key ingredient. That's key ingredient. And then just a little bit of salt and pepper. Now, if this was a classic, like, uh, bolognese that we were going to serve with, like, cavatel, we would add some milk. But for lasagna, no milk because we have the bechamel. Could I make this ahead of time, have it sort of ready to go, and then do the assembly? You could make this up to two days, three days ahead of time, put in the fridge. Yeah, you could good. make it a month ahead of time oh, fantastic in the freezer. freezer. My yeah. mom used to make bolognese. And, and it's and always it, ready to go. she put it in ice cube trays. Oh. And then you pop it out, you'd have bolognese. Bam! Brilliant. All right. So over here, we have bechamel. So, Two ounces of butter, two ounces of flour, about a, a quart of milk, some nutmeg, very classic sauce. Oh. But to lasagna it up, oh. and this is what my mom did. This was the great trick because a lot of people get those clumps of ricotta and they didn't like it. My mom would put it in the bechamel, so kind of smooth the whole up. thing okay. up. So, so we're going to put in, there? yep, we're going to put in our, uh, our ricotta, our parm. Oh my gosh. And we give this a Chef. big whisk. Chef, I'm this here is the greatest you, Christmas I'm gift here. of the year. I'm here. Okay. You're now gonna that's going you're on. gonna lose all your hair and gain 30 pounds. Uh, whatever. Eat it, it's but you'll be all right. So you you whisk in <laughs> the cheese. You turn off the heat. Okay. Heat is and off. This is ready. So now these are both ready for the rolls. And what I like to do is once I roll them, we kind of just we let them the sauces chill because they're easier to work that way. Okay. So basically, you did ever, all the work for uh, Kelly, but then she's gonna. Yes, do the I, I burns from the popping of the oil <laughs> all for Kelly, and she's coming on next for the assembly line right after this, Jeff. We'll right back. We are back with Chef Michael Simon, who I wish I wish that you were all here so that you could smell how delicious this smells. He's showing us how to make these incredible lasagna rolls. Okay, so we. We've got our double sauce, our bechamel, and then and our- And the bolognese. The bolognese, and, these and are, then- Kelly, for these, these are all the smells of my childhood. I have a Sicilian Greek mom, so uh, this is this was what we add every uh, uh, holiday at my heaven, house. Heaven, heaven, heaven. I was telling you, my mother-in-law only makes lasagna with bechamel. Yeah, There's so no, good. she doesn't cross- she doesn't mess Pollinate, around with yeah. need, When you have all the cream and cheese, who needs anything exactly, else? Exactly, really? exactly. All right, so over to your left, I have some cooked pasta. Okay. Put two of those down on your table. Okay. Just and on the table. Just on the table, on your, yeah, on your cutting board. Okay. And then you're going to take the tablespoon, and the bechamel is, we chilled it, and you're going to put a big heaping tablespoon on one of the noodles, and then just spread it all the way across. Okay. And a tablespoon and spread it across. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, and just give it the spread. Perfect. Oh, you're so good. You're just a natural. <laughs> just I'm an, an angel, yes, natural. that's me. The angel of the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the same thing, Kel, in front of you, I have some chilled bolognese. Oh, okay. And you could just take some of that and spread it across also. Just to mix it. And you know, yeah, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to roll it all up, and you'll never even see the mistakes. We're hiding the mistakes within the roll if we. That's if what we I make like. Any. Yeah. Now you take your. I have some pomodoro here, mm -hmm. and we put that recipe right up on the website. We're going to put all that into our lasagna pan, on the bottom. Okay. 
perfection. See, I like the way you talk to me, not the way Galman barks <laughs> orders at me. You say things like perfection. Well, you know, 28 years of training. Liz has done a very the, good job Angel of the kitchen. <laughs> then we take the bolognese noodle and put it on top of the bechamel noodle. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, oh. So I, I see. I did it wrong. That's okay. We're not even going to worry about it. I got Put it. Put your other noodle on top. I got it. Yep. Sandwich it in. Yep. There you okay. go. And now just roll it up. Sorry, I misunderstood the assignment. That's okay. Am I still the angel of the kitchen? You're still the best there's ever been. Oh my gosh, the best there's ever been. Better than Ryan, even? Even better than Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then do we put it inside? Yeah, we put it right inside. And then you do, you know, eight to 12 of those. You fill them up. Wow. You put them in your oven. You oh bake my it at 350 degrees after you top it with some of the fresh mozzarella. Oh my gosh. And then what I like to do, Kel, is when it comes out of the oven and that mozza's on there, <gasps> I hit it with just a little bit of parm. And then I take some fresh basil. And, and tear I just the tear fresh it basil? on top. And you know, and then the beautiful thing about this, especially with these times, because they're all separate rolls, uh, you could just pop just one pop out one and enjoy it for yourself. How nice. And you know, you could separate them ahead of time. I'm going to. Just Listen, like, go to kellyandryan.com for Michael's recipe and check out Simon's Dinners Cooking Out on Food Network. You can check your local listings. Chef Michael, Simon, it's always such a pleasure, pleasure to see you and you. get to eat your food. Oh my gosh, we'll be right back, stick around.